when I start to think about the vision of a smarter planet, um, you've got to first of all step back and understand where technology's got to. Just to give you a very simple statistic to bring into life, um, technology started back in the early 60s with the transistor. It was about a four to five centimeter high lump of metal. And today we have a billion transistors to every human alive. And, and it's a combination of those billion transistors and being able to really get data from the built world, whether it's humans moving around that we see through videos, whether it's cars, whether it's RFID sensors, there's a whole stack of different ways that we can get real data, real time out of the systems of, of, the, of the world today. But that's not really what, why we want to worry about. That means that we can create a smarter planet because we can get the real data. People have a desire to change the way they live because of things like social media, the generational changes, the way we absorb information from TV and so on. It's just changing the way we, we interact and that interconnectivity is changing as a, as a result. Again, that's not why we want the smarter planet. So another one of the drivers. The real challenge is some of the societal uh, uh, things that we take for granted. Take the Apple in the UK. The average Apple in the UK travels 3,700 miles. Just imagine the cost of that. Likewise, another statistic is the car in the US. The average car in the US travels 1,700 miles. Who would have thought that in a land so big where we could grow the carrot around the corner, it travels such a huge distance? And that's why we need the smarter planet. So for us, a smarter planet is getting real data, getting people to inter interact and understand some issues and be able to make smarter decisions to optimize the way we live. But the thing you might want to reflect on is, what are you going to do to make the world a smarter place? And what kind of skills do you need to be able to make the world a smarter place? So when we start to think about this idea of a smarter student as a, as a, as a kind of concept, um, the students need to worry about what skills they need to have to succeed in the world going forward. Um, how can they use the information that we're gathering from these range of sensors and new information sources? How do we build new algorithms and techniques to analyze that, get new intelligence, new insight? And, and uh, we're, we're putting forward a whole range of ways of interacting with students and um, IBM's own thought leaders through things like DeveloperWorks, where we provide um, access to blogs, um, shared uh, access to IBM tools and capabilities, a um, place for students to interact as well, because that allows people to interact and find the new meaning. And it's really giving um, legitimacy, if you like, to that curiosity that we had before, that, that innate desire to want to really understand how to make the world a better place. Um, let me give you a couple of examples of, of, of you know, real things that we're doing to help bring these ideas to life. The Architecture Workshop is, is a program we run with a, a select number of universities uh, and it gets one of our real thought leaders, somebody who's been working with clients in trying to create some of these smarter cities, smarter planet solutions, um, and, and allows to take those case studies um, with students and work through them for a full week in, in understanding what the challenges they face. How do you go and even dream up some of these ideas? How do you actually build these systems? Uh, and it, it brings it to life and, and really uh, enthuses the students in, in, uh, in uh, building those things, but also in actually understanding what skills they need. And how would they grow those skills? How do they learn um, to leverage what they've learned through the education as well? Um, another example we have is uh, the Team Talent program across Europe where we have um, IBM senior executives working with select universities to build a whole program of activities, um, visiting seminars, um, trying to get real thought leaders uh, to come and talk about their role. How did they become somebody who could design the systems around Wimbledon? How, how did they go about designing systems that, that run banks? How did they design systems that um, help uh, build and uh, support airlines that are, that are flying? And, and those skills uh, are not only critical for the past and how we've got to where we are now, but help them understand the kind of skills that we'll need in the future and start to give some insight into the kind of questions that we will have to explore to build that smarter planet. Let me conclude by inviting you to visit the IBM Skills Truck to really experience the IBM Smarter Cities and Smarter Planet Initiative. <laughs>